And now on Monster Face, how about some monster makos? Watch out for these teeth, Grandma. Watch out! This is Monster Face. Whatever it takes. Wherever it takes them. It's a hunt for Monster Face. Trev Gowdy, America's sportsman. And Dennis Brave, Australia's legend. Two men dedicated to one thing. Catching the biggest fish on the planet. Tangle with the Titans. Watch out! Whoa! I'm Trev Gowdy. Monster fish. Some men were born to chase monsters. These monsters. Get off top of them. There you go. Watch out. Whoa. Miami's Doubletree Grand Hotel. Chic and rich, where the celebrities come to play. And second home for many international big game anglers. Those anglers are often aboard Striker One. Captained by a man who's caught more big sharks than anyone alive. His name is Bart the Shark. We're heading off Miami Beach this morning in three to four foot seas. Wind's blowing about 15 to 20. Good conditions to catch one of my favorite of all sharks. The world's fastest swimming shark, the Mako. The hunt is on for monster fish. Okay, what you're looking at right now is a full and a gallon live well. I got caught some bills. We can keep anything alive in here. I got a two horsepower pump in there, pumping in 3,000 gallons an hour in and out of this well. This is our primary surface rod. See the hell you can buy any fish in the ocean. This is about 12 pound bonita going down, nice and fresh. See all the blood? Beautiful thing. Do your job. Our main leader is about 600 pound mono. And then we got a little balloon, keeping the bait right on the surface. There she goes. This here is our primary rod that goes down about three quarters of the way. We like to put this bait on the edge of the thermocline. This is our moose rod. This is our blood rod that we keep on the bottom at all times. Got the 19 wire on here, three hooks in her. You want to keep the boat into the current. Let that scent to carry out with the stream. All that blood, everything is going north. Fish are coming from the north to the south. They'll pick up on that trail. And guess what? Got a nice little dinner for them, ladies. Okay, this is where the action starts. This is the big game fighting here. When we get a big fish on, you hop up in here. Anger is right on top of everything. When you're in this chair, this is a great position to be. But guess what? You're on top of the shark. You gotta watch out for your feet. These sharks come up and take bites out of the boat. If your foot's in the way, guess what? There goes your foot. And just pray that shark don't jump in your lap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see what we got here, right on the bottom. Fuck it up, fuck it up, get in the chair, you dirt. Make sure take your mama, take your mama. March May 10th, guns the boat to come tied on the hook. We got him. Why, sir? Why? All right, what we want to do is make sure we get the line tight, the rod bent. Keep those hooks driven in, in the shark's mouth. Full-grown makos are capable of bursts of speed up to 60 miles per hour and can leap clear out of the water. This one is diving to the bottom at full tilt, past 300 feet. Makos routinely chase down and devour swordfish and marlin, species that are hardly a pushover. A human would seem like a floating jelly-filled cupcake. 
He's starting to see some light. Oh, man, big head shake there. So far, we've drifted about six miles uh, fighting this fish to the north. Definitely a nice fish here. I'm going to let Tim and Al take care of the fish. I'm beat, man. I'm sick. Tim and second mate Allen jump to the fighting deck. Come closer. Tim gets a flying gap into the shark's head, triggering a deaf defiant tug of war. Watch, watch yourself. He's going to try and get you. Yeah, I'm coming your way. He's coming. Two, three. Okay, go on. He's gonna go nuts here. Get out of here. Get off the top of him. Whoa, dude. That's a fast way to 60 stitches in the butt. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let's hold him right there. Mangoes are close cousins to the great white and inhabit both the Atlantic and Pacific. Good job, man. This mangoes a damn fine fish, but this was the undercard bow. All right, we got our first mango shark in the boat, 400 pounds, 80 foot long. And any boat, that's a trophy. But you know what? Not in this boat, not on strike or one. We're going to catch one that's going to make that one look like a baby. Stick around. It's a decent time fish. Within sight of Miami Beach, Mark the Shark gets into a brawl with an eight-foot mako. Not enough fish to satisfy his definition of monster. We're going to catch one that's going to make that one look like a baby. Okay, we're heading out today. We got a nice mako yesterday. The hunt is still on for the one monster mako. Mark and his mates, Tim and Alan, put out a bonito bait under a hefty main rod that has always fished in the bottom. Then Mark turns due south, head on into the Gulf Stream, and the current spreads the bonito flood for miles. He stands, facing the stern, ready to throw that throttle lever. Like a small fish here. Yeah, it feels like a round nose. Maybe a small bull shark. Maybe a sandbar shark. Just by the bite. It's not very big at all. Wait, wait, wait. Let him eat, baby. Let him eat. Whoa! There he goes. It's a decent sized fish. Oh, man. Look at her go. It's in the sandbar. Whoa, big man, go. Big belly. Big man, go. Big man, go. Rages for over an hour, a Mark versus Mako smackdown. The monster shark leaps seven times, but can't float the hook. I got a fish here. Oh, man! Woo! Come on down, Tim. Coming down. One down. Woo! Mark and Tim quickly get a fine gap in the shark, lasso it, and start hauling it aboard. But its fins are almost too wide for the Whoa. fish door. Well, we're tired because you're not going to catch a bigger one than this. This fish 
just breaks 11 feet. Top end for Makos. We're going to donate this Mako shark to scientists. And hopefully, the research they do from this animal will help maintain the species for future generations. You can see the bite marks right here on this big Mako. Looks like a big white shark trying to eat her. That white shark's got to be twice as big as this. Look at the teeth marks. Look how wide they are. That's a fresh wound, too, not more than a couple months ago. As you can see, these teeth are all going inward. This enables the maple shark to grab the fish he's trying to eat and hold on. There's no way those fish can get up when these teeth are curved in like this. This is a daughter. Of all my years fishing off Miami Beach, I've never seen a mako this fat before. This is a true monster fish. And that big fat belly is a six foot, 200 pound tarpon the mako ate just a few days earlier. Clearly, a mako will tangle with anything. Huge tarpon, billfish, even a great white. This is a monster fish.